Bernard. I'm the Guru Go-To Guru in Foyside in Derry in Northern Ireland. Um, I'm going to do this video. It's a collaboration video between retail and franchise. And franchise guru is Ian McCorkle from Limavati. Um, I'll hand over to Ian in a second. Um, this free video is just going to cover off Microsoft Office 365. Um, we're going to cover off things such as what it contains, what you get with it, um, how it works, features and benefits, how to install it, and a live demo of how it works as well. So um, I'm going to hand you now over to Ian and he's going to cover off what's contained and what software you get with Microsoft Office 365. Over to you, Ian. Hi, my name's Ian. I'm here to tell you about Microsoft Office 365, how easy it is to use, even when you're not in the office. I can use Office 365 while I'm boiling the kettle. I can use Microsoft Office 365 whilst I'm in bed. I can even check it when I get out of the shower. I can even view my files on the Office 365 website with the help of OneDrive. So let's take a closer look. Let's go. So from the Microsoft Office 365 OneDrive, we can actually create new documents, selecting anything from the list here we see. For this demonstration, we'll create a new Word document, the subject of that being a team briefing for today. Now that the document is complete, we can save the document. Simply click on File and select Save As. There is no Save button, as we will see here from the message, that the document automatically backs up online. Simply go to our OneDrive and here it is. From here we can actually rename the document to do something more appropriate. Select Manage and from the menu select Edit Properties. This allows us to give the document the correct title. With the title we now click save and we can see in OneDrive that it has been renamed. This allows us to be able to use the document in other devices and find the correct document. You can see here Dean is updating the schedule for next week whilst at work. As I am at home I am instantly able to view this online simply by selecting the spreadsheet work schedule. I can see that I am off next week and using Microsoft Link I'm able to arrange a meeting with Bernard for some coffee. Microsoft Link is a fantastic package which comes with Office 365. Microsoft Link allows you to have one-on-one -on -one conversations, group conversations. It also allows for voice over internet protocol which allows you to make phone calls online. It also supports video conferencing as well which allows you to make video calls back and forward online as well. Supported both wirelessly and on 3G. Because Microsoft Office 365 is so easy to use and so accessible to use as well, it means I don't have to go to the office. I don't have to go up to the study in my house. I can simply update all my files right here by the sofa, allowing me time to do the things that I love doing more. I'm going to pass you back over to Bernard now and he'll take you through the rest. Thanks very much. Thanks for that Ian. I'm going to just cover off some uh, benefits. I'm going to go through 10 benefits. Um, as we know, Office 365 is for business customers. There's reduced risk to your business with cloud storage. Um, so you don't always have to have your data stored in the office and hard drives on the computer with the risk of it go missing. It's stored in the cloud so that means you can access it uh, from anywhere. Microsoft also supply the hosting um, which means they provide you with a domain name for your business and some uh, hosting web space for your website. 
Um, this is great for, for companies, especially small businesses as well. Another benefit for um, businesses and small businesses even is that you can connect from anywhere. Um, no need to connect anymore to a, a private network, a virtual private network. Um, you can work on the go from your phone, your tablet, um, and share your content or your work from anywhere. A great benefit is that um, all the content, maybe your, your calendar, your contacts, your email, it's all properly synced with um, mobile devices, so that's your phones, your tablets, um, even your laptops. So on the go, I know a lot of business and travel, so all your content synced seamlessly. So Office 365 has new security policies as well, which means um, the benefit to business customers especially is that you can you can do remote wiping. Um, so if you ever lose your phone or tablet and you're really concerned about someone accessing your business content, um, you can get that wiped and nobody else can, can get that. And you can do that remotely as well. So the micros another benefit is the Microsoft Office part of Office 365, so that's your Word, PowerPoint, Excel, Outlook, etc. Is now fully available on mobile devices um, and works with Android, iOS and Windows Phone as well. Uh, a major benefit and anybody that's running the business will, will agree that sometimes you, you need the web administrator to start deleting stuff from your inbox once your email becomes full. Well Office 365 provides you with a larger mailbox so that's 25 gigabits of storage space so you'll find that, um, that that should do a long time without having to delete, delete emails. In the past, with uh, Microsoft Office, um, any time an upgrade came out, you had to renew your license and maybe pay more money. With Office 365, um, they kind of got around that now, so if any upgrades happen, they happen as part of your subscription automatically, um, and you don't have to worry about it. So, once you're signed up to Office 365, uh, you'll need to download the software, um, which is Microsoft Office, so that's Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, um, and then you've got your link as well. So um, we'll just go to a web browser, fire it up in there, and just search for Office 365. And the top one here, I'm just going to sign in to Office. So I'm already signed in, but um, it'll bring you to a sign-in page, so just pop in your username and password that you're provided with when you signed up. Um, so this is uh, the main page. We can see you've got my inbox here. So what we're looking for to get the software is you go to the top right of the screen, click Settings, and then Office 365 Settings. So on the left-hand side, then look for Software. And this is where you get your software. So it's Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook. Um, you can see there I've got four main installs already. Um, one of them's been my work PC. So um, this is for Mac. So it's available for Mac and Windows. And I just hit install. So that's now downloading. It's almost a gig in size. So I'll pause the video at this stage and continue when that finishes downloading. So that's Microsoft Office uh, now downloaded. So it's just worth noting as well while that was downloading, I went ahead on the left hand side here you see link and downloaded that as well. So you can see the install files here at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and install Office. I have a slightly different installer for uh, Windows, so but pretty much the same principle so I'll just double click on the office installer and it's just a matter of going through uh, the guides, we'll just hit continue continue, agree to all that just let you know how much space it's going to take up, you can change the install location on your computer here but I just recommend going with all the default installation steps um, it's asking me to close Chrome before we can install it so I'll just go ahead and do that Enter the admin password. On a PC or Windows PC you might not see these steps or slightly different screens but it's pretty much the same principle. And let that run.
So again, this may take a few minutes, so again I'm going to pause the video at this point. Um, and while this pause as well, I'm going to go ahead and install Link. And um, we'll come back again once everything's installed. So here you have it, that's Office now installed on the on the Mem Mac. Uh, along the dock at the bottom you can see all the, the programs have installed shortcuts. So that's Word, PowerPoint, Excel, Outlook. Uh, and I've also installed Link separately as well. So we've now got the screen. Welcome to Office for the Mac. Um, with a few options. So you can enter your product key. That's, um, if you're provided with one. So I already have a subscription. So I'm just going to sign in here. And just type on my email address. And password. <coughs> and sign in. So you then probably get a few uh, permissions on the Mac. Um, this one's looking to access my contacts. It's up to you whether you allow that or not. Um, I'm assuming it's for um, so you can import contacts into documents and things like that. So I'm just going to hit OK on this one. Um, so you just pop in the details in here. Um, company name. You, you can put anything in here, but I'm just going to put in Telefonica. <coughs> Continue. Um, you want to keep Office up to date? Yes. Automatic up to uploads. Uh, customer experience improvement program. Just go to yes on all of those. And there you have it, so that's uh, Office now installed on the Mac, uh, ready to go, hit done. Um, so we'll just open up a few of the programs, it's Microsoft Word, um, choose any templates, and away you go. Excel, um, Link. So for link, you'll need to put in your password each time. Um, that's if you sign out of it. Let's do that. And that's it. Um, so hopefully that was useful for you. Um, we'll just let wait the link signs in, and then we'll show you how it looks. There we have it. So there you can see all my contact list there, um, ready to go. So there we are. If you have any questions, just drop us an email. Um, I'm making a point over your local.